Hello. Here again, we are going to read something about mythical creatures. Module number eight. What's in this module? We are going to learn and discuss about films, music, mythical creatures, legendary cities and lost civilizations, biographies of famous people, heroes from the past. We have to practice some grammar that has to do with the past simple of verbs and to talk about the past or describe a past event. Let's see some vocabulary that we need to describe different beasts, such as a thick mane, a single eye, a horn, a long tail, sharp claws, a beak, big wings, sharp teeth, long feathers. And you can find which of the beasts look like a horse, a huge snake, a, f a giant, an eagle. This is the hippogriff. This is the Cyclops, that's the dragon, unicorn, a beautiful beast, phoenix, a beautiful bird from the mythical creatures. Now you have to describe the beast. An example is ready for you. A unicorn looks like a horse. It has got a horn, a thick mane and a long tail. Do you know this woman? This is J.K. Rowling. She's the author of Harry Potter series. J.K. Rowling, the creator of Harry Potter, uses a lot of weird and wonderful creatures from mythology. How different are they to the mythical creatures? In the Harry Potter books, centaurs live in forests. They are very intelligent. They study the stars and the planets and sometimes see the future. Most centaurs stay far away from people, but one of them, Firenze, saves Harry's life. He even becomes a teacher at Harry's school. The phoenix is a beautiful bird. Harry's headmaster has a pet phoenix called Fox. Tears from its eyes save Harry's life after a poisonous monster bites him. Harry is shocked when Fox suddenly bursts into flames one day. Of course, Fox is born again from the ashes. Chimeras live near volcanoes. They are very dangerous and very difficult to kill. Now let's read something about mythical creatures. Centaurs were half human and half horse. They were from the mountains and forests of central Greece. They were wild, dangerous beasts, except for one, Chiron, who was an astronomer and a famous teacher of medicine. The phoenix was a beautiful red or purple bird with a long golden tail. It was from India and Egypt. It could burst into flames and could be born again from the ashes. Its tears could heal someone's wounds. The chimera was a weird Greek mythical creature. It was really odd looking. It had three heads from three different animals. At the front it had a lion's head. In the middle it had a god's head. And its tail was a snake. It was a terrifying creature. It could bite like a lion and it could breathe fire like a dragon from its god head. Now let's go on with reading comprehension. Which of the creatures is half human and half horse? Which of them has got a human head? Which of them has got three heads? Which of them has got a long tail and a sharp beak? You have just read about Harry Potter. Who's Harry Potter? How are these creatures related to him? After reading the text, you can mark the sentences if they are true or false. 
Then, it's time to think. How is each creature different or similar in the Harry Potter books from mythology? Can you tell us? Now you have to look at the pictures. Choose a creature and write a few sentences about it. Make two mistakes. Then the others should find your mistakes and tell to us. Have you any idea the types of films? Make sentences about them on exercise number six. What phrases can we use to agree or disagree? Read the dialogue and pay attention to the words in red. These are some adjectives you may use to describe or talk about films of exercise number six. Boring, interesting, sad, funny, frightening, exciting. At the end, some work for you from ICT portfolio. Prepare a short presentation of other mythical creatures. You can use the key phrase on your searching mythical creatures. Thank you and goodbye.